everyone welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video in today's video i'm going to show you how i use a two ingredient i'm going to be using some aloe and i'm also going to be using some banana this i use on my skin to lighten and brighten my skin this also helps to get rid of hyperpigmentation on the skin if you're looking for a quick and easy diy home remedy that you can use on your skin as a facial wash and also as a facial mask this video is for you so continue watching now I'm going to start with the banana and I'm using about a half of a medium overripe banana. When the banana is overripe, it contains a skin brightening properties that will help to lighten hyperpigmentation on the skin. The flesh of the banana contains moisturizing properties, good to use all over the skin, the face, the neck, and the decollete. So I'm going to put this aside and move on to the second ingredient, which is aloe vera. Today I have a fresh leaf of aloe vera gel. When you want to know if your aloe vera is fresh, just take a look. When you cut it, there should be no water, but more of a gel-like consistency. Aloe vera have to lighten, brighten, and get rid of excess grease and dirt on the skin. Aloe vera is also good for sunburn, get rid of acne scars. Aloe vera is also known to reduce wrinkles and fine lines on the skin. To extract the aloe vera gel from the fresh aloe, I like to peel both of the sides and then I'm going to take my knife and peel the entire aloe vera leaf, avoiding the middle, which is the gel. So go with your knife on the other side and you can also cut this in small pieces and split it right down in the middle to extract the gel whichever way you are comfortable extracting the gel go ahead and do so now this is a special aloe this is the pink aloe vera and we're going to add it to the blender the blender and the pink aloe vera is not very common however it is loaded with antioxidant that will help to boost collagen and elastin in the skin if you do not have the pink aloe not to worry go ahead and use your regular green aloe in this recipe next i'm going to reach for the banana and i'm going to chop it in small pieces and placing it in the blender along with the aloe vera so in the blender we have aloe vera and banana now i'm going to reach for some rose water rose water help to balance the natural ph levels of the skin it's very hydrating on the skin and it's perfect to mix with the aloe vera and the banana for this recipe so we're going to use about two tablespoons of the rose water pouring this in the blender and now we are going to blend the three ingredients together and we are going to blend well Now, after blending, take a look. Here we have our fresh aloe, rose water, and banana mixture. And we're pouring this in a small bowl. And guess what we're going to do, guys? We are going to add our final ingredient. And this is going to be some cornstarch. Cornstarch is known to get rid of excess sebum from the skin, except excess oil from the skin. But it's also known to tighten and firm the skin. We're going to be making a facial mask. This is a two-in-one recipe. You can use it as a facial wash, and you can use it as a facial mask. So to make the mask, add the cornstarch. Now, if you do not have corn starch you can go ahead you can add some fullest earth you can also choose to add some regular flour or even any form of a clay to this mixture and mix well so we're mixing aloe vera we're mixing cornstarch and some banana and this is our facial mask this is what we're going to use on the skin to tighten and firm the skin. So you're going to take this mask and you're going to apply it all over your face. Like we're showing here, apply over your face, your neck and decollete, and you're going to leave it on the skin to dry, preferably about 30 minutes or so. While it is drying, you're going to feel a tightening sensation 
on the skin this is the mask working on the skin tightening and firming and reducing wrinkles and fine lines now here is our leftovers and this is what you're going to use to wash your face so you can take a little of this run about a teaspoon and use it to wash your face your neck and your decollete use it as if you're using a facial cleanser so for our recipe we end up with two recipe a facial wash and a facial mask Stir the leftovers in the refrigerator and use it up within seven days this is a mask that you need to give a chance to work on the skin so use it at least three times for the week and before you know it you're on your way to healthy glowing skin free from wrinkles free from fine lines and also free from hyperpigmentation if you have oily skin make this mask your best friend because this also have to get rid of excess sebum on the skin this also have to shrink pores when you apply it on the skin this also have to get rid of clogged pores also have to get rid of acne scars and also have to get rid of any form of hyperpigmentation on the skin two to three times per week is best and you're on your way to a more naturally radiant younger fresher looking skin and there you have it thank you all for watching you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share and don't forget to leave those comments thank you for watching and i'll see you soon